Hello everyone, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, I am going to be attempting the synthesis of indium monoiodide from indium triiodide and indium metal in refluxing xylene. Um, the plan here is going to be to take some of this indium metal. There's a little over 21 grams here. Um, the purity should be very high. Um, it's supposed to be over 99%. And we are going to react this with the um, hydriotic acid that I made in that little clip that I put up. And we're going to that will produce indium 3 iodide. Then we will get that to crystallize and dry it out. And then what I'll do is I'll take that, put it in um, a flask, put uh, mix that with xylene, put in the indium metal that I will cut up into as small little chunks as I can in there, and we'll reflux it, and hopefully the color change will show us that we have indeed produced indium monoiodide. Now, unfortunately, my um, stirring hot plate has died. It has given up the ghost. Um, I, I'm, I'm very broken up and distraught about this. So, um, I don't really know how this is going to go. Hopefully, if I cut up the indium metal into very small pieces and we use a large excess of it, then this will still work. Um, so far as I can find, indium monoiodide and indium triiodide are all soluble in xylene. So, maybe we won't have the same issue we had with the antimony triiodide, where it basically stopped reacting until I turned the stirring all the way up. Um, no idea. But we're going to give this a try, and we're going to see how it does. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right into attempting to do indium monoiodide. All right, everyone, so here goes nothing. Um, I'm going to use the same basic setup that I've used in other reactions like this. Um, you can see this is the solution of indium 3 iodide in xylene, and I use this word solution loosely here. It isn't pretty. Um, this is what I found when I went and did some further reading. I found that indium monoiodide will not react with hot water, which I thought was interesting. So I'm hoping, really hoping, that the reaction is going to happen. I've used a large excess of indium metal. Um, uh, I'm really hoping the reaction is going to work. Um, indium metal will melt at a temperature just slightly um, below where xylene will reflux at. And, um, yeah, there's nothing else for it, y'all. We're just going to put it together, heat it up and until it refluxes and see what happens. Indium monoiodide is a dark red compound. So, we should know the reaction is working if a dark red compound forms. I don't know. I, I wasn't actually planning on being able to recover the monoiodide from this reaction. I was just, would be happy if it just turns dark red and we know that we formed it. Although, hey, you know, if we can recover some, that would be nice. Um, I'll also show y'all, although it's very messy, and um, but it is interesting to see. Um, you can form this compound, well, you can form indium triiodide and monoiodide by direct combination of the elements. Although, every time I try, um, I always get a mixture of both of them. But... Um, I'll close this video out with that, with a little demonstration of that, so that you all can at least see what it looks like. Thank you. 
All right, everybody. It both succeeded and failed. Check this out. So this is the indium metal that I reacted with the um, indium triiodide in the xylene. Um, this is what came out of the xylene here. And I think what this might be is indium hydroxide. If it's not the triiodide... Um, I think it might be hydroxide, and I think what may have happened is that it's possible that indium monoiodide formed, and then if there was any kind of acid generated, it could have reacted with it to um, produce indium hydroxide. I was reading something about how that could happen, so maybe... Not excluding the water was not a great idea. But if you notice that reddish coating on the pieces of indium metal, indium monoiodide is supposed to be a reddish solid. Now, I'm not 100% sure what is going on with that, but that has a distinctly reddish tint. So it's entirely possible that what we've got here is a coating of indium monoiodide on these pieces of indium metal. I'm going to get them out of here and take a closer look at them and we'll be able to see a little better exactly what we're dealing with here. That is really something else. That really is. That's so cool. All right, everyone, as promised, here is the experiment where we are going to try to do indium monoiodide um, by direct combination of the elements. Now, what I've gotten here is a layer of indium pellets, then a little bit of a few iodine pellets in here, and then some more indium metal. Um, I have flushed out this tube with dry carbon dioxide. Um, I've got a stopper on top of it that does have a hole in it to let the gases um, you know, out so it doesn't pop the top off. But at the same time, it should, I hope, keep everything um, more or less contained. So, okay, I don't know what happened there. All right, so here we go. Something happening here. It'd be nice if it would stay focused. Alright. Cool, cool. Oh, oh. Zoom out a little bit so you can see it. So that's interesting. We've got a liquid in here. Oh, there's our molten indium. Interesting. Oh, yep, I think that's it. I don't want to breathe that shit. Oh, yeah, I think it's working, y'all. That is so cool. So yeah, indium monoiodide is supposed to be a red solid. Um, 
That's supposed to be a red liquid, too. It's hard to tell. It's just so dark, it looks black. Now, indium-3 iodide will form a yellow solid, and it melts to form a red liquid. Okay, something is condensing and running back down in there. What have we got there? Some kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah. Check this shit out. A red solid condensed in the tube. Fuck yeah! Ah, that is fucking... That's it. I'm pretty damn sure it is. Now, what have we got going on down here? Let's see here. There we go. Let's see how I can actually see what I'm seeing here. Well, maybe. Okay, it's... It is starting to solidify, and I cannot get it just actually... It's sort of... All right, y'all just have to wait and see it in a second. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. There we go. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. That's what you call success right there. Oh, look at that. Fucking look at that shit. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay, focus, you fucking piece of shit. That is so cool. I can't see shit. <laughs> Alright, y'all, hold on a second. Oh, wait, look at this from the other side. Okay, seriously, do I need to turn on the flash? Like, what is the problem here? Okay, there's the excess metallic indium. Yellow stuff is probably indium-3 iodide. And then we've got this red layer here. Which has got to be indium monoiodide. Because indium-3 iodide is a yellow solid. I mean, you can see it. Red solid, there's nothing else it can be. Oh, that's so cool. Is it, is it actually cool? <laughs> I really want to take it down from there and take a closer look at it. There we go, people. Indium monoiodide. That is the shit. That is so cool. And you can see, I mean, we've got indium triiodide right above it. That is so, so damn neat. No? So there you have it, people. Indium monoiodide. That is just so damn cool. That really is. Focus, you piece of shit. There. Much better. So, if you liked this video, remember to like... You know, if you think I've earned it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Tell me I'm awesome. Tell me that I fucking suck. Whatever you think I've earned. And um, until the next video, y'all, we'll see you later. That is so fucking neat.